Hello, hello, hello to all of my Capricorns, all of my sea goats. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading. This is your general reading. Capricorns, we are moving towards the first quarter moon in Pisces. Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac, and like you, they are divine feminine by default, meaning their energy is cyclic processing. It's the last sign in the zodiac. It's ruled by Jupiter and Neptune. And so people are just, uh, as you get closer and closer towards the end of the month, because uh, first quarter moon is November 30th, as we get closer and closer to the end of the month, you'll be trying to process some things. So here's some questions for you that you want to ask yourselves. Here's some questions that you want to ask yourself so that you do not get overwhelmed by emotions of things, right? Pisces is a psychic sign and so your psychic abilities are increasing you're starting to believe things and starting to think okay am i what is wrong with me like what is all all the clairs are coming out to play right clairvoyance clairaudience clairsentience claircognizance everything is coming out to play but i don't want you all to be nervous because the devil card came out right i don't want you all to be nervous and also here we have the lover's card right so let me just walk you through this. First question you want to ask yourselves is, could you be opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? Second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? Third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last question is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? All right, let's go. Queen of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. All right. Somebody is wrapped up in a demonic soul tie. Demonic soul tie, it could either be where you feel like the person is your twin flame, or it is, and I'm going to explain demonic soul tie. Even though I have more information on my second channel, that link is below. It's called the Knowledge Channel, but I'm going to kind of sort of run through it here because I don't want you all to get overwhelmed, emotionally to get overwhelmed. So I'm going to try to try to really go through because I'm seeing soulmate energy, right? So your soulmate could be a family member. It could be a love interest. It could be a friend, a platonic friend, which you feel like this person just nurtures my soul. There's a difference between nurturing your soul and feeling like nurturing your ego or your flesh. So let's, let's talk about twin flame for a second, right? So you could feel like this person is just, they light a flame up under me. It is very, it's very passionate. It's very, it's, it's all these things. But if your supposedly twin flame keeps burning you or you keep having this, you, they, they, their energy is so draining. It's almost like you got to constantly keep giving them compliments. You got to constantly keep doing stuff for them to keep relighting their flame. Like they just constantly need... That's not a twin flame. That is not, that's somebody who needs to go get some help, quite frankly. And I'm serious, I'm not trying to be funny at all. That's somebody who really needs to sit down in a therapist's office, a licensed therapist, that is, in somebody's office and, and talk about why they need so much attention, why they need so much of your energy. It's just draining, right? Because your soulmate. And even your twin flame, they're inspiring you. Them inspiring you is taking away nothing from them. You are you are having, uh, they know exactly what to say and what to do to nurture your spirit. They can seem very, very gentle. They don't have any ulterior motives. They're just, they just know. They are in tune with what nurtures your spirit or in other words, what positively nurtures your, uh, your soil because you're an earth sign, right? They're very compassionate. Um, they know exactly what to say and what to do. They're not trying to manipulate you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Matter of fact, to some of you all, they may seem like, they may almost seem passive in a sense. Like they may even give you the energy to some degree that they are afraid that you would leave 
that you would leave them, right? Um, but it's but it's it's not that. It's that they are they are very strong in their beliefs. They're very firm in saying, you know what, I would rather continue vibrating high because I know what I know what Capricorn is involved in, right? This is this is your card right here, right? I know exactly what Capricorn is involved in. A lot of you all have met your soulmates. A lot of you all have met your twin flame. But if you're in a demonic situation, um, meaning that in a demonic situation could even be nervous that if I say no to my adult kids, they're gonna cut me off. That could be a demonic situation because remember, this is not a this is not a physical such uh, situation. This is an energy. This is a energy of fear, doubt, um, uh, some kind of sexual illusion, that kind of thing. Or it can be if I create fir very firm boundaries for my ex, if there's kids or something involved, they're going to just come after me. That's a demonic tie. Um, that's an example of a demonic tie. It could be um, I haven't, I can't completely cut my ex off, even though we don't have anything we don't, there's nothing between us. You're trying to justify, I don't have to cut them off because I don't, you know, they don't call me or they don't reach out to me or whatever the case may be. And you know that they're not good for your energy. So there's still that opening there, demonic soul tie. That's just an example, right? What source is trying to send somebody is love. Like somebody is trying to now, okay, only take what resonates with you. Source is really trying to send somebody their twin flame. But somebody is going to have to sail away from past disappointment. Like Pat, you could have you could have been married five times, right? You could have been married six times for somebody, right? There's number six right here. You could have been married once. You could have never been married. Or, you know, you could have been in several relationships and said, you know what? My person isn't out there for me. And Source is trying to send your twin flame across your path, your soulmate across your path, that person is very, very compassionate. They are very aware that they, uh, that they need to be in tune with your emotions and things that have happened in your past. So what I'm saying for you all is that I see you sailing away from the fear sailing away from the doubt saying, I know moving forward, my person is out there. Um, because again, a soul, a demonic soul tie could even be tied to the, the fear and doubt that your person doesn't exist. I hope that makes sense. Because again, this is a general reading, and so with general readings, obviously you're not going to capture every little thing unless I like literally walk through everything that's coming in through my spirit, which could be here for an hour, forty-five minutes to an hour. So again, is anything regarding? In this instance, love, even I'm not, I'm not worthy of love. Like even that of feeling like I've been so taken advantage of in the past, I'm really, really not worthy of love because look what happened when I stepped out there. See, the difference is now, that's what I really want you all to not get overwhelmed by this. Is like I said, we're moving, we're coming towards the uh, first quarter moon in Pisces. And this is the first quarter moon in any sign means time to take action, right? Take the blindfolds off. Look at yourself in the mirror. Write down what you love about yourself because that's what somebody would be getting a part of. They would be getting that, like the fact that you all are, are hardworking people, the fact that you all are very stable-minded, the fact that you all are very loyal sign, that you all are team players, that you all are very classy, like that you all are creative, that you all um, are very responsible, that you all are self-controlled. Um, great managers of people, money, and time. Like, this is the benefit. Like, that's why I really want somebody to, like, just stop the madness of who did what to you in the past because they should no longer have access to your spirit at all. That's why blocking numbers, block emails, they shouldn't have access to seeing you what you're doing online. You're not trying to show them when I meet my person, see what you missed out on. That's your ego. Take the blindfolds off and see that some people don't, don't deserve to have any access to you. So get your rest so that you're not overwhelmed. 
And while you're getting your rest and you're already thanking Source in advance for your twin flame to come through and you're not operating in fear, you're not chained to fear and doubt and so on and so forth, this is where you're creating room for your person to come through. For your person to come through because you've already been your own knight in shining armor, right? And so in the meantime, you're going to continue working hard. Working hard, earning your money in the meantime. And I see big money coming across your path. Again, for some of you, all your business is going to double, triple. It's going to just increase because you're starting to vet all those thoughts, those words, thoughts, and deeds that come across your spirit. You're back on your throne. You're like, okay, in the past, I didn't know to thank source in advance for this, 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 and this. I just said, you know, I'm praying. I'm hoping that I meet the right person. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Now you're saying thank you that the person is on my same frequency, that they live within an X, X, Y, and Z mile radius of where I live. Thank you that they are sensitive to X, Y, and Z. Thank you that I don't have to give them an instruction manual. Like, thank you that they look like this, that this height, this um, shape, whatever. You're, you're being very specific about what you're, you're thanking source for, right? Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. So congratulations in advance for somebody who is going to meet their actual twin flame, you know, their actual soulmate, right? Their actual knight in shining armor, because you've already learned how to be your own knight in shining armor. That's why I talk so much about pulling your full birth chart. Right. Somebody's overthinking something like somebody is. This is giving a lot of thought to it because somebody may have given their heart to something like somebody in the past. And even it could have been demonic tied to a job like um, it could have been like, I thought this was my perfect job. I'm inspired to work on this job. Remember, it's an energy. It's not always a person that's a demonic soul tie. It's a it's it, it's just an it, I'm tied to fear. I'm tied to doubt. All of this is internal. I'm tied to fear. I'm tied to doubt. I'm tied to, I'm not going to find the perfect job for me because I was inspired. And when I got on that job, the people were acting like, you know, ex, they were acting like a bunch of demons, right? They were operating from their lower selves. So this is again, when you're vetting everything coming through, right? And it can be exhausting. That's why I said to you, please get your rest. If you start feeling like, okay, I'm just drained and I'm exhausted as we get close to the end of the month. That's why. So I'm just telling you ahead of time, telling you in advance. We got the seven of pentacles. Let me know that somebody's money is growing. And we also have the king of pentacles. See, this is the reason why. This is the reason why um, somebody may have had some issues in love in the past. Right here we have the lover's card again coming out twice. Again, because you've learned how to nurture yourself so much that you somebody has been settling. I mean, like really settling for less in the past operating in fear. I need this person. We can be a we can be a, a power couple together and the person is giving you little to no effort. Power couple where? Job. I'm giving my all to this job. And guess what I'm getting? A stale donut and some burnt coffee. Right? Like what? I mean, you know, stale bagels or stale donuts and burnt coffee at retirement. Like you, and, and so source is showing you ahead of time. Like some of you all have been on jobs where you've, you've witnessed other people's retirements and you just see that people don't put forth any effort. Like the company has no appreciation whatsoever for their, for their, whatever, for their employees. So again, I see your money growing and I'm also seeing you moving closer and closer towards wealth. I'm telling you, if somebody is settling, and just looking for, I'm just, just throw me some crumbs. Show me just a little bit that you care. You're giving way too much energy to it because source is trying to make somebody, again, very wealthy. Your time is your money. Somebody has spent an enormous amount of time on past disappointments and past pains. And somebody is still in denial. Here we have the two of swords. This is where you got to be real patient with source for the perfect whatever it is. That twin, that twin flame energy. They're going to put just as much fire up under you. And I'm talking about a good fire. We're talking about inspiration as you are giving to them, right? And so here we have the five of wands. Here's where somebody could be thinking about past energies where you warmed up to certain things. And guess what? It burned you. You're like, I shouldn't have done that. I stepped out there and that thing burned me, right? So if anybody is in any kind of a relationship, a friendship, romantic relationship, professional relationship, where you are putting up forth all this fire and flame and all they are is good in bed or all they are as good as, you know, um, getting you upset and frustrated. That's your way of them firing you up is just 
saying mean things. One day they're warming up to you the next, and they're trying to start little petty quarrels and petty arguments. Like I said to you all in the last reading, some people cannot stand. Somebody better recognize when they're sleeping with the enemy. Some people cannot stand it when you are thriving, when good things are happening for you. It's always something wrong with them. They are not your twin flame. They're not. Here we have the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords. So I do see, I do see you at you thanking source in advance for people's motives. Thanking source in advance. This is even new energies coming your way because you being on this throne with all of this wealth right here, because somebody is putting so much extra energy, so much air. This sword energy is air energy, right? Somebody's giving so much of their air. Air um sword energy is connected to the element of air, is connected to the heart chakra. It's also connected to thinking. So somebody is overthinking this twin flame situation. Instead of saying, my person is already going to know, you know, what I need. Just like instinctively, I'm going to know what they need. And even if they're off by a little bit, me telling them one time, because you already know what your moon sign is because you pulled your birth chart, right? You're telling them one time something doesn't work and they don't do it that first time. Or if it seemed like, okay, I have to keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. Let's say, for instance, your moon sign is Sagittarius or your moon sign. Let's say your moon sign is Sagittarius and you, you're a person who loves to travel, right? So, and there, every time you go, you got to travel because you, you feel like I work real hard. I got to, I got to take a, you know, I got to take a trip. I got to go somewhere, just some downtime. I need to recharge. And they're always accusing you of cheating. They're always, and <laughs> make sure you're not cheating. Okay. But, and you're all and it's Oh, you always met with just petty quarrels when you come back. Or well, let's say your moon sign is Pisces and you tell them, Hey, literally every single day I need, I need some alone time by myself. Cause maybe you, cause you need to be by water. Pisces is a water sign. I need to be by water every single day. And they're always starting little petty arguments, petty quarrels with you. They're not even giving you a chance or you feel like I got to rush back and be, you know, continue lighting their flame. Remember this is right here. I got to continue lighting their flame. Right? So here's the thing, what I'm saying for you all, I do see marriage in somebody's card like this right here. I see you with your twin flame. I see marriage in somebody's card, right? Um, but again, you got to know, this is where you're thanking source in advance. Specifically, source, thank you for exposing their true motives in my life. And thank you for exposing is if they are actually my twin flame or not. If they're not... Put the answer in their mouth. This is the power that you all have, Capricorn, is divine feminine signs. People are just going to tell you stuff. That If you really pay attention, people just come out and just tell you things because your energy is magnetic. This is where you use it to your advantage, right? Tell, ask, put it out there to source. Source is going to make sure that information comes to you, whether it's in a dream, whatever it is. Tell source because somebody's twin flame is trying to come their way. Somebody's twin flame is trying to come their way. So if you with somebody that you feel like, okay, it's too many ups and downs in this relationship. It's always some stuff going on. They starting like petty little quarrels. Every time you turn around, somebody better recognize that somebody was with somebody. <laughs> somebody was with somebody with at least five generations of just chaos and confusion. You're not trying, we're not people's savior. You can't save them. You can release them. That's, that's playing a part of you save, helping to, you know, helping them you know, releasing them on their journey. You can release them, but if they're not giving you the same fire in the relationship, the inspiration, and you just got to keep almost begging when they see that it's funny and they see it as a joke, they say, release it, release it. Just highly manipulative. Somebody was in a very manipulative relationship. So yeah, so the manipulation could have come from work. It could have come from somebody you dated, somebody you may have thought was your twin flame, but source is saying, uh-uh, that wasn't your twin flame. You were in a relationship with a narcissist. That's what you were in a relationship with. There is this, uh, there is this doctor on, um, and she's, she's really, really good. I think she's a psychologist on, um, on, uh, on Instagram. If I could think of her, um, if her Insta handle, I will, I'll make sure I get this information to you all during the next reading. And she is really good about breaking down. She does these skits online and she, she's really good about breaking down, um, narcissistic behavior, um, 
you know how people play those games and you think, okay, this is my person. And, you know, you're almost convinced that you're supposed to be going through all of these challenges with the person. And no, you're not. No, you are not. No, you're not. So again, I do see love coming. Somebody's wearing the form of your soulmate. They just get you and twin flame energy. It'll feel like knight in shining armor. But this time, because you've worked so hard to love yourself, this lover's card is about loving yourself, embracing every part of yourself, your divine masculine to your divine feminine, and your good and evil within yourself, seen, unseen, known, unknown. Like, And, and you've done such a great job at loving yourself that whereas before your definition of twin flame has changed so that's what's coming somebody's way so take the blindfolds off and thank source that your ex is no longer in your life anymore we also now have the king of swords again somebody is wise you're you're more knowledgeable now you have clarity of thought that's why you see so much blue in these in these um swords cards this is air you are a thinker you're very smart i mean you got a lot of good things coming your way but somebody is overthinking this this yeah, overthinking this love situation, whether it's love of a job, love of a romantic relationship. But remember, all of these air cards, too, mean that you got this you got this and more um, ancestors with you on this journey. I'm telling you, just start thanking Source in advance for exposing people's motives in your lives. Thank you, Source, for exposing whether they're my twin flame or not. That's your prayer right there. Thank you. Thank you in advance for exposing whether they're my twin flame or not. Because devil energy is very, very crafty. Very crafty. The answers you need are coming. Some of you all will... This, this is going to help somebody be able to close out some chapters from your past. This, we have the Six of Swords. Somebody may be in a relationship right now and it's just like, it's just so iffy. You just got to keep proving to that person. It's like no matter what you do, you give an arm, a leg, a torso, it doesn't matter. It's never enough. You can't even bask in your own happiness because they are just, they. it's this right here. Somebody has already learned. Somebody has already learned from past relationships. Some people you can't do enough for. It's just never enough. It's just, it's never enough. And so if you're currently in a relationship like that, whether it's a job, romantic relationship or whatever, push the pride to the side, push that ego to the side. I don't care if they swinging from chandelier. If they are not your twin flame, they are not your twin flame. I don't care if your job is saying to you every month, Oh, we, we got to, we, you just need to take this training class. You get, and no matter how many training classes you take and how many um, hoops you jump through, they still don't, don't even overwhelm yourself with it. This is where you're thinking source in advance, plan a vacation, plan a vacation. Yep. Somebody is going to go on a vacation. I'm telling you, that's going to help somebody to really clear their mind. That's <sighs> That's why I'm mean. like when you meet with soulmate energy again, soulmate energy um, is all is often used interchangeably with twin flame energy. But soulmate can be a family member. Soulmate can be a friend you you come in contact with. You know, you like, wow, this person just gets me when we get together. It's just like it's just easy breezy. Whereas some of those relationships, some of those so-called soul, uh, soul front, I mean, soul um, mate relationships are only you feel like that because y'all known each other for 15, 20 years. And it's not soul mate at all. It's like if you spend if you take one day off from calling them, you got to spend the first 15 minutes of the phone call as to why it took you 24 hours to respond to them. I mean, just ridiculousness. <laughs> just high maintenance energy but again like i said that's what i'm seeing for somebody that's what i'm seeing for somebody let's see um let's see what your number is capricorn let's see what your number is let's see what your number is let's see what your number is but yeah somebody could be overthinking this whole twin flame energy like i said before you're just thinking source in advance you're thinking source in advance you're closing out all the all the chapters you're closing out all the doors you need to. You're cutting off all the whatever so that your person can come across. I am protected. Here we have 444. I am protected. Trust your journey. Trust the, way, trust the way that your life unfolds. And trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. Yep. Trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I mean, some people's energy is just downright draining. I mean, for real. Like, if you got, if, again, and I got to reiterate this, is this is coming through really, really strong in somebody's reading is 
Source is allowing somebody to go through all of these things. One, because somebody won't take a leap of faith. But also because to show you that on your way to the throne, you may meet many people that may seem like, because remember the devil energy is very crafty. They may seem like soulmate or twin flame energy, but they just keep missing the mark. And one of the things that's going to be a telltale is that they're always creating some kind of drama. Another thing that's coming down too is they could be smiling in your face, but none of their friends like you. It's always something. It, it's always something with them. They just, somebody, uh, it's just coming through real strong. Somebody is either working for a narcissistic manager or it's somebody has a narcissistic situation that they have going on right now. But source is saying to you in the past, you had, you've dealt with narcissists in the past. They want all of your attention, but they don't want to have anything to do with your family. I'm talking about ones that you get along with, people that you love and you don't have any issues with. They don't want you to be connected to anybody that connects you to the earth. They want all, they want all of your attention. There's always an issue with somebody because they have an issue with themselves. So I, I know y'all know exactly who I'm talking to. So somebody may be going on a vacation where some things are going to come become crystal clear to you. So, like I said, move on. Affirmations for success. Here we have, I am attracting everything I need. I am full of highly profitable ideas. I am grounded. I am connected to my highest calling. I am pushing the boundaries of the ordinary. What's for me will always be for me. I am committed to my purpose. I am making necessary connections. I am connected to all that supports my highest good. That's right. When I tell you that source is trying to make somebody very, very wealthy, the fact, remember, time is your currency. Somebody is spending a lot of time thinking about something with sources saying, eventually, you're gonna, if you really look around you, I keep trying to send, I keep trying to send somebody's soulmate in twin flame. It's like, notice this, um, Capricorn, there's some people you go around, it just feels like no pressure whatsoever. It's like easy breezy. There's just like, you know. Then I put it, it, but then other people, they need all of your attention all the freaking time. Like what is wrong? <laughs> what, you got to ask yourself, what is wrong with them? But actually you're at, you're at saying to God, expose, you know, their, their true intentions, their true intentions. So that is what I have for you, Capricorns. Again, happy somebody meeting their person. You know, somebody in the perfect job for them where they don't have to work for a narcissistic manager or be in a relationship with a narcissist. That's just narcissism is just very, very crafty. It's very slick. It's very crafty. Anybody who was ever dated, was married to, had kids with, worked for, uh, supported their business. I mean, whatever. It could be your dentist. It doesn't matter who it is. Anybody who has ever had a an experience with a narcissist, you'll never forget it. Never. I don't care who <laughs> I don't care who you are. You will never. And we're not talking about somebody who's always looking at themselves. We're just talking about people who are just it's just chaos with them. It's just absolute freaking chaos with them. And that's what we have right here, the five of wands. You'll never forget it. You'll never ever forget. They're always trying to create this uproar, this, this, this anger and frustration and draining in your spirit. But that is what I have for you. I will see you all on Monday for Motivational Monday. But like I said before, we're moving towards the 30th of November. And it's the first quarter moon in Pisces. Please, 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 those questions that I gave you, write out your answers to that. Make sure you are keeping yourselves, um, you're flushing out any negative energies around you by listening to sacral chakra music every single day and night if you need to just flush it out so that you can have clear messages coming through capricorns that's what i have for you and i will see you all on monday bye